Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, our today's video is very very important because I am going to solve TCS ITP aptitude question which was asked on 30 of June 2022, and it was a on campus exam. So in the examination speed, okay. So a speed and accuracy matters. I mean you have to solve it very quickly, and it should be also correct. So here I'll be discussing the shortcut methods to deal with the problem. So these are the problems which were asked and it is shared by the students and which I have taken it here. So please watch the video till the end. My name is Pratik Srivastava and let us start with the question number one. So what is five plus square root of 10 divided by five root five minus two root 20 minus square root of 32 plus square root of 50. Now after seeing this question, many of you will not try to attempt okay but friends aptitude is simple but the only thing is you have to use you have to think a bit okay now so as soon as i see so we are able to see a square root of five is there a square root of five is there means somehow we need to convert in a square root of five and once we break this and that will give us an idea so along with the square root of five what else we need so a square root of five is required so from here what i will do I will take a square root of five common. So if we'll take a square root of five common, that means what I wanted to say, my dear friends, a square root of five into a square root of five will be five. You know everything, right? See, I am teaching you everything from the basics so that you understand and you should not have any confusion when you watch my video. So it might take some time, okay? Otherwise, I will easily solve within one minute. So within the time, the speed and accuracy both I will be having. Now, so what I will do, so square root of five, if I will take common, then one more square root of five will be there because we know five is nothing but a square root of five into a square root of five and a square root of 10. So a square root of 10, I can write my dear friends, five into two. That means I can also write a square root of five into a square root of two. If you are agreed, then only I will write. So a square root of five, I took common from here, then I will be having a square root of two. That means I got one idea that everything please break into a square root of five or a square root of two now so five root five so five root five i will keep it like that minus two square root of 20. so a square root of 20 what i can write so two into two four and four into five twenty that means instead of two two one two will come outside so two root five so two is already there so two into two four four root five right so see we are getting all the equations in five and two now square root of 32 so square root of 32 how will you write for uh, 4 into 4 16 16 into 2 that means we will be writing 4 root 2 so our intention was to change everything in the square root of 5 and the square root of 2 that is what idea we got then the square root of 50 so 5 into 5 25 25 into 2 is 50 now 5 i will take common it will become i mean because of 2 5 1 5 will come outside so it will become 5 root 2 so 5 minus 4 so 5 minus 4 will become what my dear friends so 5 minus 4 will be definitely 1 right so 5 minus 4 that means only 1 root 5 and here again 5 minus 4 will be nothing but so 5 minus 4 is 1 that means a square root and now you see this and this got cancelled and a square root of 5 will be the correct answer and you will be able to take that option d will be the correct answer now many of the students will comment sir we could have done it in a very easy way why you are doing all those things okay now i will tell you one thing friends because i had to explain you i took so much of time otherwise i know here a square root of five i will take common because when 10 is there so 10 is giving you the idea that my dear friends a square root of five and a square root of two you will be required so here a square root of five plus a square root of two okay now so here five root five that we cannot further different uh, i mean factorize two square root of 20 so four fives are 20 so two will come outside so it will become four root five then 32 16 twos are so four will come outside okay then 50 so 25 twos are so five will come outside and then i could see this will give us right so square root of five and this will give us this this one line answer how much time it will take so it will not take 40 to 50 second but when when you have practiced enough right okay so now we will solve question number two but before that i wanted to request you so if you have not subscribed to our channel eight please do subscribe because now i'll be solving more and more tcs problem and i will make you prepare for 
the TCS examination. Okay. Now, so let us see question number two. So the digits in the unit place of the resulting number of expression. So when we see this question, we will be thinking 234 to the power 100, 234 to the power 101. No. See, basically, if you know the concept, then it will not even take 30 seconds. I'm telling you. So it will not even take 30 seconds. So 100 plus here it will become 234. See, basically, you should know all those things. If you have not solved this kind of question, then it will take more than one or two minutes. Okay. Now. So how to solve this? So what is the unit digit? So unit digit is nothing but four. Now, do you know about four? So four to the power one will be four. Four to the power two will be 16. Four to the power three will be 64. Four to the power four will be 256. So this is the property of four. Now, so if four to the power odd power is there, then it is ending with four. If four to the power even power is there, then it is ending with six. If four to the power odd power is there, it is ending with four. If 4 to the power even power is there, I'm sorry, this is 4. So then it is ending with 6. Okay, so 4 to the power odd, 4 to the power odd means it is ending with 4. If 4 to the power even, then it is ending with 6. Now, so here 4 to the power odd, uh, sorry, even, 100 is what? Even, then it will 4 to the power even, 4 to the power even means it will end with 6. So 6 plus here 4 to the power 101, 101 is what? Odd. So it will end with four. So six plus four, that is nothing but 10. So the unit digit of this expression, so the unit place, the unit digit unit place will be nothing but zero here. So my answer will become option D. Now you tell me how much time it will take. Let me erase it here. Okay. See, now you know the power of four, right? Now you know about four. So if four to the power odd means it will four and if four to the power even, then it is six. So here, 4 to the power even means 6 and here 4 to the power odd means 4. 6, 4, 10, 0. So 0 will be my unit digit. Will it take? Will it take 30 seconds also? No, it will not take, right? So this is how you have to solve the problem of uh, TCS examination. So all the problems are easy. It is not tough. So don't worry. Now, a man spent 75% of his income. So the first thing which I wanted to tell you. So this question uh, is from the topic percentage. Okay. And options are given in terms of percentage. So when options are given in terms of percentage, then the problems becomes very, very easy. Okay. Do not forget to subscribe the channel friends, because you will miss this kind of videos. I'm telling you. So a man has spent 75% of his income. So let us assume that his income is hundred. Why we are able to assume because if options are given in terms of percentage, then you are free to assume any value. Okay. Now, so a man is spend. So what is his expenditure? 75 percent is spending. That means 75 rupees he is spending. Now what will be his saving? So income minus expenditure will be savings, my dear friends. If you are earning 70 rupees, spending 75 rupees, then the saving will be nothing but 25 rupees, right? Okay. Now his income is increased by 20 percent. So his income is increased by 20 percent. 20% increment is nothing but 120 rupees the income will become and he increased his expenditure by 10%. So his expenditure is increasing by 10%. So 75 and 10% if you calculate it is very very easy even you can told in the mind itself but let us see 7.5 rupees is nothing but his expenditure increased. So after increasing if you'll add see earlier it was 75 and now it is increased by 7.5 means his expenditure will become 82.5 rupees. Now, agreed or not? Yes. So you should be agreed to that. Now, what will be saving? So 120 minus 82.5. Again, I am doing step by step. That is the reason it is becoming lengthy. Otherwise, you can easily solve. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then here 9 minus 2 is 7. And 11 minus 8 is 3. So now his saving will become 37.5 rupees, right? 37.5 rupees. So they're asking his savings are increased by. So 25, okay, see options has been given. So what will be half 25, 50%. So 50% is nothing but half of 50 per, uh, 25, right? So 50% is nothing but half of 25. So half of 25 will be 12.5 and it is nothing but 37.5. So you can easily say, sir, the, uh, the savings increased by 50% option D will be the correct answer, right? So how easy it becomes when your concept is clear. And trust me, this will not take again more than a minute. Okay, so within a minute, you will be able to solve. You wanted to see. So the man say uh, income is 100 rupees. 
so his uh, expenditure will become 75 percent means 75 rupees his saving will become 25 now he, this increased income increased by 20 percent and this increased by 10 percent right expenditure so 10 percent means 7.5 that means it will become 82.5 if you subtract it will become 37.5 now 25 50 percent that means half of 25 will be 12.5 and it will become 37.5 50 percent is answer but when when you have practiced well when you have practiced well so that time now question number four so question number four is a question from simple and compound interest and this is really uh, a very tricky question but with the help of short tricks we will be able to solve it easily so a sum of rupees 5000 is divided in two parts such that the first part is invested at 4% great the first part is invested at 4% and the second part is invested at 5% per annum simple interest the total interest earned from both the investment after a year is 235 rupees so the total interest simple interest after a year is 235 rupees principal is nothing but 5000 time is nothing but one year so simple interest will be equal to prt by 100 okay now so in tcs you will be also getting the calculator 235 will be equal to principal is 5000 rate we have to calculate into time is one year divided by 100 so this and this gone so 5 4 ja will be 20 and 5 7 ja and divided by 10 so you will be getting rate of interest is nothing but 4.7 right so this is the combined that means after one year now so just this what we are doing is we are using the rule of allegation we are using the rule of allegation so 5 minus 4.7 is 0 0.3 and 4.7 minus 4 will be 0.7 now if we we'll calculate the ratio so this and this gone so it will be 3 is to 7 okay now so here the amount is spent okay so this is the amount i mean so total amount was nothing but 5000 right so total amount was nothing but 5000 right okay so here so this three part is invested here and seven part is invested here right so a total money is nothing but 5000 so three part is invested here so three part of this will be what so 500 into 3 so basically what we are doing is so this was 0.3 part right so 0.3 part and 0.7 part so 0.3 part if you calculate okay so it will be 1500 okay and uh, here, if you calculate 7.7, then it will be nothing but 3,500. So, if you will consider 5,000, then three part is nothing but 1,500, and seven part, seven part is nothing but 3,500, right? So, 1,500 is invested at 4 percent, and 3,500 is invested at 5 percent, right? So, you might have understood, you might have got the logic. Okay, let it be 0.3 only, and then you calculate 5,000 into 0.3, right? So 5,000 into 0 0.3. So this 1010 0, 0 gone and 1,500. And this is nothing but 3,500. So basically into 3 is to 7. Or you can also do like this. So total money is 5,000. And into 3 into 7 ratio, you have to divide. So 5,000 into 3 divided by total. So 3 plus 7 is 10. So uh, 1,500 rupees will be invested here. And if we calculate with 7, then 3500 rupees will be invested here okay so you will be easily able to calculate however you want it will give you idea so the in amount invested in the first part was 1500 rupees so this is an easy way with the rule of allegation you will be easily able to clear and now the question number five is for you so you have to solve and comment your answer if your answer is correct then i will like the comment then you will come to know that this is correct okay so I will be waiting for your answer after I upload the video and let us see who is solving fast and let me like his or her comment. So thank you, friends. And if you like this video, then you will have to wait. You will have to comment and you will have to wait for the second part today itself. Thank you. Take care and all the very best for the TCS examination whenever it happens.